Oh, damn. damn. It looks like a Zula. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction, Reaction Dragons. Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder, guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Thanks so much for the support, guys. And what's on the menu for today, Glacier? Back at you with Avatar: The Last Airbender, Book Two, Episode Nine. Better work. Better work, and yeah, I mean, I don't, really, I don't really got much else to say with this one. I just want to know, the main question is, is Iro alive or dead? Don't tell me he's dead, because I'm gonna ride, I'll probably flip this keyboard over, but I think he's, I mean, he's got too much fight in him just to give up over, you I know, a little better to kill Iro like that. It's, it's like the show wants me to hate Azula. All right, yeah. I dislike her, hates a strong girl, I don't hate her, because she's a compelling character. Shit, you kill Iro, I hate your ass. I don't yeah, I hate your ass at that point, sorry, fuck your compellingness. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, hopefully, you know, the Aang squad got sleepies finally, so hopefully they're <laughs> re-energized, and we gotta get to work, you know, the clock's ticking. I also got to teach Aang those earthbending skills. Yeah, obviously, you know, Katara and Sokka got level up too. Uh, you know, I'm giving some hope to Momo and Appa. Hopefully they can level up as well, because we need all the help we can get. But uh, other than that, I'm ready as fuck with you, ready? You know what, Azula, if you got all that, that spunk about you, all that hardcoreness, pull up on Toph one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you don't want the smoke with Toph one-on-one. -on -one. You can pull up with your Ozai's Angels or try to get the upper hand, yeah. but face her off one-on-one, -on -one, training camp, all that shit. One-on-one. -on -one. And then another thing, guys, Ember's a little sensitive this episode because last episode he got paranoid and scared. He has had trouble going to the pool now because he's scared of the Ole lizards. If you guys know, saw last episode, you know who the Ole lizards are. But I'm ready no, at that point. I ain't scared of the Ole lizards. As a matter of fact, they're skipping across water. Your category. So maybe they're gonna pull up on your ass. I don't see them walking through fire. But anyways, as usual, guys, just take a couple seconds hit the like button down below. The impressions do lead to more views. And don't forget, guys, you can go in and catch the full length reaction to episodes 11 and 12 on our Patreon on Friday, which is tomorrow. So with that being said, let's fucking go. Good morning, Damn. That's how she wakes up. Morning, Sifu Top. Damn Sifu Top, clean. Maybe I can learn to make a whirlpool out of land. Let's start with move a rock. <laughs> yeah, See? yeah, crawl That's freaking around. He reminds me of that fire teacher. Yeah. Rock is a stubborn element. If you're going to move it, you've got to be like a rock yourself. Like a rock. Damn, like a Chevy commercial. Actual motion of this one is pretty simple. Damn. <laughs> Actually, I should make it look simple. Beast. I'm ready. <laughs> God dang. The rock moved rock your ass. Like, airbender. <laughs> yeah, that rock's stubborn as fuck. <laughs> I got you, Dad. Oh shit, is it Zuko? <laughs> oh, it's no. Oh, it's oh, Iroh and his son. I will see you again. Gosh. Uncle. You were unconscious. Good, he's alive. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. It was a surprise attack. Somehow that's not so surprising. I hope I made it the way you like it. Oh no, God. <laughs> He's in a lot. There you go. Good poker face. <laughs> Best uncle. So, uncle. I've been thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. I know what you're gonna say. She's my sister and I should be trying to get along with her. No, she's crazy and she needs <laughs> to go down. Yeah, it's yeah. Real nice. Teach him how to channel lightning. We're in business. Huh. It's time to resume your training. Hell yeah. Let's go. He's alive. That's what I like to see though. But yeah, right off the bat. If I came at the boulder from a different angle. No, that's the problem. You've got to stop thinking like an airbender. God, McFly. McFly. <laughs> You've got to face it head on. I mean like this. Boom. Damn. Like she's like made like a rock. Yes, and she's also stubborn. He really responds well to a positive teaching experience. If he's doing something wrong, maybe a gentle She's gonna cut him off. Toss him. Like no, no, no. A gentle nudge. I'll try that. Keep your knees high, twinkle toes. <laughs> <laughs> Obi each element's gotta go through different training. Yep. They're not all crazy. Yeah, I can't. Sorry. Toss, toss. You gotta deal with it. Yep. I like toss as a trainer. Oh, 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 She's oh, gonna oh. make you tough, like rocks. Rocks are tough as fuck. Yeah. Gosh. Damn, she makes that shit look real easy. It's like whack a mole. <laughs> Boy. Oh, she's nasty with it. Look at that. God, it makes a little rock figuring, rock armor. Oh, hey, I'm, uh, what the hell is that thing's name in Fantastic Four? Thing? Yeah, I'm the thing. Damn, I clean those, what are those called? Like, dumb, dumb kettle, kettle, ball, kettle, ball, kettle kettle bells. Kettlebells. Hold stance. Dang, it's getting better. Yeah. See, it's working. Right, muscles. You gotta chuff top, she knows what she's doing. Fry ass conditioning. What the hell? You're awfully cute, but. Unfortunately for you, you're made of meat. <laughs> like a cow rat. Nice try. Wow. I'm telling my mom, she's gonna kick your ass. 
Some call lightning the cold-blooded fire. It is precise and deadly, like Azula. Damn. Form the technique requires peace of mind. Let's watch me. Oh, watch shit. Oh, damn. damn. That's like Azula. Oh, shit. Damn, he's like, Azula's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Woo! I'm ready to try it. God, nope, just fire. I like there's two different training montages going on. He's not training for the Avatar, he's training for Azula. Exactly. Sorry, Toph, but are you sure this is really the best way to teach Aang earthbending? Actually, there is a better way. Blindfold. This way, you'll really- oh. <laughs> he says, hey, she's blind too, she does it. Yeah, thanks, Katara. Gosh. <laughs> Why'd you butt out? <laughs> Mom was like, sorry. Eat me. It's like Indiana Jones. Yeah, he just dodged it. It's like a dodgeball. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a old shit. Yeah. I guess I just panicked. If you're not tough enough to stop the rock, then you can at least give it the pleasure of smushing you instead of jumping out of the way like a jelly-boned whip. God, going real hard on him. Maybe trying to motivate him. I like Toph. Oh, Earth seems like the hardest, hardest element so far. You will not be able to master lightning until you have dealt with the turmoil inside you. Ooh, you gotta face those demons. You must let go of your feelings of shame if you want your anger to go away. True humility is the only antidote to shame. Bars. I will teach you a firebending move that even Azula doesn't know, because I made it up myself. There we go. Get his confidence back. Oh no, Sokka's still there. You think I deserve this, don't you? Uh, Sleep, yeah. please. Eat me. Actually, don't eat me. I wonder, if, I wonder if that thing is going to be part of the crew. Oh, Momo! Oh, oh, do not eat that. That thing doesn't even fit in your mouth, Momo. He's like, sorry, I'm undefeated. We're, they didn't want to show no, him that kill. was definitely out. They didn't want to show him killing the frog. I, thank you, Nickelodeon. He's gonna worry about not drowning. How about that? Yeah. If fire and water are opposites, then what's the opposite of air? I guess it's earth. Damn. That's why it's so hard for you to get this. That was a good way to explain it. Yeah. Too. Good job. Think fast. Oh shit! There you go. Face it head on. Thanks, Katara. Sifu, Katara. Nice. She thought I cried. Your eyes glistened. Right. <laughs> Earth is the element of substance. There is the like element tough. of freedom. The air nomads detached themselves from worldly concerns. That's why they're monks. Water is the element of change. Are capable of adapting to many things. Yeah, because water to ice, ice to water. Yep. It is the combination of the four elements in one person that makes the avatar so powerful. But it can make you more powerful too. Heck yeah. Each element's equally important. I like that we got him back with his uncle. I yeah. found these nuts in your bag. I figured you wouldn't mind. Besides, <laughs> even if you did, you're too much of a pushover to do anything about it. Oh, I thought she was about to call him a pussy. I thought she was about to call him a pussy. I was like, I forgot this nigga Lothian. Mm, shit. Actually, nuts. I'd prefer if you didn't. I don't Eat care it. what you prefer. Delicate. Yeah, I'm almost a dick Mmm, clean ass nuts. Yeah, Mo's like finally someone as powerful as me. So See ya. Do something about Aang. I'm a traitor. It's almost sundown and Sokka isn't back yet. I think we should search for him. Oh we shit. Find him faster yeah. if we split up. Stuck in the ground. I wonder if it comes down to Aang getting him out, he has to do rock bending. Yeah. Aang! <laughs> Thank goodness! Have you got any meat? Sokka! Have you got any meat? <laughs> he just like throws that down his bone. Nope. You're gonna have to earth bend. Dang. Damn, I could join a punk rock band. For a little bit. I know you're new at it, but I could use a little earth bending here. How about it? I can't do it. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Well, either call Toph or I bet Toph won't do it. Yeah, actually, nope. You want it done? Do it yourself. Ang, this is my friend Fufu Cuddly Poops. Fufu Cuddly Poops. <laughs> Aw, what a cute name for a little baby saber tooth moose lion cub. Wow. It's like, where's the mama? Yeah. That's... Did you lose your mama? Oh, no, she's already there. Oh, oh shit! Oh no! You better Don't start earth bending, Aang. my baby. All right, Momo, we need you. Momo ain't gonna do shit. He needs to pull up and earth bend some shit. <laughs> Turning their opponent's energy against them. There you go. I learned a way to do this with lightning. You can teach me to redirect lightning. Yep. That's what you do with Azula. Up your arm to your shoulder. I like that. that it's like in detail. Into your stomach. I heard that's a good mechanism if you actually do a struck by lightning. It's like current. It's like electricity current. You gotta be lucky as hell. Like, because yeah. fact, like, oh, lightning's gonna strike me right now. <laughs> like, yeah, split second reaction. It's like, oh. From the stomach, you direct it up again and out the other arm. You must not let the lightning pass through your heart. Yeah, or you're dead. And he's training with, training with him all day. Yeah. Fuck your dad. This is your dad now. Your dad would never do this. 
I'm ready to try with real lightning. What? Are you crazy? <laughs> I thought that was the point. Because I'm not going to shoot lightning at you. <laughs> you won't help me. I'll find my own lightning. Don't do anything stupid, Zuko. Zuko, no, you're not ready yet. What are you doing? I'm thinking. Let's let the baby drop my baby. Did he hurt you, Timmy? <gasps> oh, no. Rockin' hard place. Damn. Ooh, Sokka's like, skip death, barely. That's one way to do it. It's like rockin' a hard place. Ooh, look at me! Ole, ole, ole. Yeah. Do my little jab and ole. I can do like, okay, here we go. Rock me! Ooh, it's yeah. like a rock. All right, fine, I give up. I mean, he's using kind of like the earth bending techniques with airbending. Toph was there the whole time. Earth bend, Twinkle Toes. You just stood your ground against a crazy beast. And even more impressive, you stood your ground against me. She missed her Miyagi to you. Whoa! Whoa let's, go. let's go! I realize. Hey, Guitar, look what I, I can want do! I want me. <laughs> you tried the positive reinforcement, didn't you? Yep, it worked wonders. Oh, there you go. See, Top takes a little advice too. Whoa. Have a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, one tongue swipe. <laughs> give him a break. He was stuck in a crack all day. Yeah, he's hungry. I can take it, and now I can give it back. Oh no! My life. It's like Lieutenant Dan yelling at the storm. Strike me! You never held back before. Oh, be careful what you ask for. Oh, powerful. I think he literally just learned the technique. Damn, damn. He probably just damn, feels like inferior there. Yeah. Damn, look at that. Thought ends too. Ah, strike me! Gosh, that gives me like Anakin vibes a little bit right there. All right, bitter work. Glacier, what you think? Another great episode. Love that we got Toph in the mix. I love that, you know, Momo got another winner in his belt. Killed the frog behind the scenes. Obviously, Nickelodeon isn't gonna like show that kind of depth, you know, that depth scene. And we almost got Toph saying, I think me and Ember thought it, and good thing it's Nickelodeon, but I thought she was definitely calling Hank a pussy in one of the scenes. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> when she started saying push over, I was like, ooh. I was like, bro, Toph, you're pushing that envelope hard. It was real close. I was like, oh, I thought she, for, for, for like a split second, because we watch a bunch of different, like all the other shows we watch are like TVMA, PG-13, like that word would come out. So I was thinking like, Toph was about to drop that. Yeah, okay. she was saying that word in slow motion in my brain. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Oh but, man, but I love that we got also Iroh is alive. Yeah, first and foremost, Iroh's alive. Yeah. Not only that, he's starting to teach Zuko the move I want him to learn, which obviously is the lightning, which it's crazy that he's like teaching him that technique as far as like channeling the flow of the current of lightning, you know, yeah. out of one arm through your stomach and out of the other arm and make sure it doesn't hit your heart. Cause I feel like I read somewhere that that is like a technique that they try to teach you if you actually do get struck by lightning. Obviously, you gotta be a real skilled motherfucker to do that shit on the fly because lightning strikes within a split second. So if you remember to go, Oh, I'll do this. You gotta be doing what you're doing. Like, you gotta be out there fucking around. Like, all right, let's keep practicing, and eventually it'll strike me. Because, like, there's no way I'm like, oh, I'm walking, and then strike. Ah. Yeah. I'm getting fucking toasted. But the technique works, is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. So, Iroh's definitely the master of that. And the, I wonder and, if, you know what, thinking about it, I wonder if Iroh, like you said, he's the master of that. I wonder if he's somewhere that we didn't see kind of fucking with the lighting where it wasn't gonna go to Zuko. Maybe, because I mean... Cause he, I know damn well he wouldn't let his nephew, as much as his nephew is like stubborn and he wants his nephew to kind of like be his own person, grow his own person, he's not gonna let his nephew just like... Yeah, he stands behind the scene just make sure he doesn't do anything. I'm gonna do my movements, I'm gonna keep, keep the lightning away from you and you're just gonna have to be mad. That's very possible. We didn't really see any lightning strike and it's not like, it's not like Zuko was sitting there with a metal rod or an umbrella or anything where he's like a lightning rod, so... I think he's just frustrated because he's like... He needs a win, he needs... Because yeah. he's like kind of like taking all these right like, now. It's like What's well, a metaphor? It's like, all right, like, like, let's say two people are destinations, they get to a millionaire, but one person gets to scratch off lotto ticket away, and someone has to grind for like five, six years to be a millionaire. That's where like Zuko is, where Azula was just born a prodigy. Like she puts yeah. the work in. I'm not, I'm not knocking her for that, but she also, at the end of the day, we have to admit that she was just born talented. That is what it is. Natural plus, talent. Natural talent plus she had the favoritism of the father. So and she's a perfectionist. But I mean, I guess at the end of the day is that like you can't compare like the steps you're taking to get there to someone else's steps. Right, exactly. The story. You gotta follow your own path regardless if it takes longer or shorter or whatever. It's gonna be more fulfilling once you get there because you're the one that put in the work. So Yeah, I think like, but, Zuko is just getting frustrated because remember he's like, because I really, you gotta have like, be humble. He's like, I've been going through all this humble shit already. Yeah, he's been going, <laughs> taking a lot of L's. Like I say, he just needs a win, but <laughs> the win will be there, Zuko. I'm sure of it. But It'll be like, a big win too. That's the thing. When you do get your win, Zuko, I bet it's a big win. Yeah, it'll put you in position to be Azula once for all. And I love how Iroh is teaching him like the, essentially the essence of all four of the elements. Because like you yep. said, it's like just mastering one isn't enough. You got to understand 
all four of the elements and kind of channel a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one. Even if like there's, you know, even if you don't like the earth benders, you don't like the water benders, it's not about that. It's about like the discipline of it. Yep. And I, and the same thing with, you know, the way that uh, Toph was teaching Aang. First, he, you know, she's like, no bullshit. Like, look, the earth element itself is stubborn. So you gotta be able to face it head on, no beating around the bush and using like, you know, tricks and shit. You gotta just literally just stare in the face and show you're not afraid. And I think it was good that he got that break too with Katara because Katara kind of like said something that I didn't catch on either when she was like, what's the opposite of fire? Water. So what do you think the opposite of air? Yeah. So like she let him understand the reason that's so hard for him under, to like learn it is because essentially it's his like, not like so much as nemesis, but it's like the, the, the antidote. It's like the yin to the yang almost. Yeah, it's so. kind of like there's a saying where like to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Or, yeah. Or some other, I'm not saying one, but you want to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. So that you can become exactly you gotta kind of like face it head on but i like the fact that like he took on that whatever that was the saber tooth moose yeah it was a saber tooth it was a saber tooth moose something or you can call it cuddly puppy poopa or yeah whatever that was called you know what i'm talking about Sokka's new friend but the fact that he's not, able to, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore yeah but yeah, as soon as she my friend that, snitch that's what's okay i was snootily cooly poopa fuck you because you know what? That, oh, damn. Because Aang held it, he's doing all this little cuddly, lovey stuff, and then just to get his mom or dad, whatever that was, that showed up, and then as soon as he got him, you saw when Aang hold him, you know if that was subtitled, he said, they kidnapped me, help! And then he ran in the Maybe bush. Maybe the mom was just an asshole, and he was trying to explain, no, he's my new friend. The mom was like, I don't know fuck who he is. He, he's I with you. Know. That, that would got probably like a snitch, like as soon as he showed up, I, they kidnapped me. Well, if someone tried to eat you low-key, you can try to be their friend, and low-key, you're gonna wanna snitch a little bit. <laughs> Is what it is. <laughs> but I mean, I like the way that again he like was able to master what, or at least he's able to like grasp what Toph was trying to teach him. Even though he's using the earth, the even though he's using the air bending aspect of it, he faced the mama head on, and also he faced Toph head on. And, and I love how Toph was kind of taking a little bit of Katara's advice and showing a little positive reinforcement instead of just kind of being a hard ass the whole time. So obviously, you know, you gotta listen to everybody. Everybody can contribute something to the overall lesson. And next thing you know, voila, Ink and Earthman. So I like how everything was progressive. We got two different tutorials, two different training sessions in one episode. You know, I love it when there's a parallel between Aang, what, what Aang's got going on in his life and what Zuko's got going on in his life. Yep. I feel like they're more similar than, than not. Yep. So I guess, you know, at the end of the day, this is, a, this is a win for both parties. You know, even though Zuko doesn't see it now, he's moving a step forward to finally face his sister fair and square. But um, other than that, you know, I going all the way back when you're talking shit about Zuko, when you're talking shit about Momo and the frog, um, I don't know, we were watching the same show, but last time I checked, first of all, the frog was like almost the same size as Momo, so I don't know what Momo was thinking trying to eat that shit. And, and last thing I know, uh, Momo's face is in the water. He's gotta worry about not getting choked out by the lily pad. He's literally killing him in the water. Like, Nicolette is like, oh, got him with the camera, because we got, we got kids. They showed Vinales' body, so I don't think it was a matter of them shying away yeah. from Momo. They just don't want to put Momo in But like you said, shows. we go back to your words. Like you said, it was pretty much as big as Momo. You think Momo ate in one bite? No, he's probably ripping the head off, ripping the arms off. And he's probably saying some dirty ass shit underwater. He's like, Momo. No, the frog's probably out with his frog homies laughing about how Momo almost drowned. He's probably hit, beat him all the homies. He's probably beating all the Kermans up. It's like, who's, where's Kermit at? Because Miss Piggy's gone. Because I ate her less yesterday. You can't even you know Miss Piggy. He's lucky <laughs> Miss Piggy gives him the, the time of day. So like everyone said, even all our Avatar friends, yeah, go make sure you watch our What If episodes, episode eight specifically. Me and uh, Ember have a little debate about the end of the episode that Momo is as powerful. As, like I said, he's as powerful as Ultron with the Infinity Stone. Simply said, simply put, one Momo equals an Ultron. So you do the math. I do the math. One dumbass plus one Momo <laughs> equals delusion. <laughs> Shit. I mean, Momo, don't, get, don't worry, I'm, Momo's gonna be here. Guys, I wanna let you know, I text Momo, when we get to book three, he's physically gonna be here, and he's had enough of Ember's You didn't text Momo, because Momo didn't even pay his phone bill, so he's not even getting your text messages, so I don't know who the hell they're texting, but it ain't Momo. With that being said, Dragon Certified, fucking hit it. There you have it, guys, another one in the books. The real question is, what did you guys think in there in Drag Sweat Land? Uh, what was your favorite training session of this episode? Was it how, was it how Iroh was training Zuko, or was it how Toph was training Aang? And do you think this is the first step of Aang finally mastering the third of the four elements? And um, yeah, how crazy did it get from here? And him? did you think Momo actually killed, killed that frog? Be real with yourself. Honestly, no fucking around. Who won? Who took the L? The frog or Momo? Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember. The Blaze. And I'm Glacier. The Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time.